Good morning, everybody. This is Tendo Hikari coming off of last night. You know, Giants Cowboys. I'm a little upset with my Giants right now, but you know, there's some positives and some negatives that we can take out of this game. First and foremost, we're gonna go to the negatives. David Wilson, kid, hit the weight room. Hit the weight room. Hit the weight room. You need to be having somebody smacking at a ball in your hand throughout the entire week. I don't know what the hell's going on with you. I don't know why it's so hard for you to hold on to the ball against the Cowboys because you don't seem to do this shit against anybody else. I don't know why it's so hard, but you need to get that shit together, man. You're supposed to be our feature back right now. You need to act like it. All right? Negatives. Again, part number two. Who we got? The interior of our offensive line. Good God, what the hell, yo? Pressure in Eli Manning's face all day, and we're supposed to be the ones with the vaunted defensive line, right? That's how it works? I don't think so. You guys are paid professionals to do your goddamn job. All right? Defensively, do we have any linebackers? Any of them. Anybody who can even be a semblance of a linebacker. So right now, I'm looking at Juco players, all right? Jerry Reese, this is your strategy, your plug and play. Shit doesn't work, kid. You got away with that jungle one time, all right, with the Kavika Mitchell thing. And Kavika Mitchell was a beast. What did you do? You let him fucking walk. I don't know what your problem is. That shit doesn't work. And you want to sit up here and try and tell me, you know, it's about making the best football decisions. I didn't see the best football decisions, all right? You wanted to sit out here and try and put this quote-unquote great pass rush together why wasn't the pass rush there until midway through the third quarter that's supposed to be great don't think so kid Eli good God Eli 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 dude <laughs> I can fault you for maybe two of those interceptions man maybe two of them all right the first one you threw the ball directly to DeMarcus Ware I don't even know what the hell you were doing there all right the second one I don't care if Jarrell Jernigan is your number one receiver, is the only receiver on the elite on the field at the time. The dude should not be targeted ever. All right, take a sack. That third one, I'm putting that on Darrell Scott. All right, that's a screen pass. It's a timing pattern. I don't give a damn how long my man's been working with you. He needs to be out there knowing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. And had he known, he would have turned around and caught that damn ball. And maybe I wouldn't be making this video right now. Positives to take away from last night. Oh, wait. No, I do got one more negative. Kevin Gilbride. I don't know what happens to you once you get inside the 20-yard line or why your play calling becomes so damn predictable, but something about that shit needs to change, kid. Something about that needs to change. It's freaking pathetic, yo. I called every play you did down by the goal line before you even ran it. Our first possession down there after, not the first one, the, um, the one after the interception by Ryan Mundy. I called it. So you guys line up in the big formation. I said, David Wilson straight up the middle. What happened? The Cowboys did the same damn thing. They called it. And they stuffed that shit. All right? What happened in the next play? Play action. I knew it. I knew the shit was coming. I guess the Cowboys knew it was coming too. You guys are ridiculous, man. This shit is pathetic. You're supposed to be an NFL coach. You're getting paid millions of dollars to make decisions, and you're making horrible ones. After that, now we got our positives. All right, let's get to the positives now. In the second half, our defensive line did start getting some pressure on Tony Romo. All right, I'm not advocating hurting anybody, but they did put a beating on him in the second half. I get them. I give them some credit in the second half because the first half they looked ridiculous. All right, positives as well. Aaron Ross, as much as it pains me to say it, Aaron Ross was very, very good last night. He played a hell of a lot better than I expected him to because when Prince went down, I thought that game was completely over because I didn't think anybody on our defense, you know, our secondary was actually going to be able to stand with you know Des Bryant. Another positive, Justin Pugh. Justin Pugh, Justin Pugh, Justin Pugh. I never heard your name called maybe twice last night. And it was because of some weird stunt that the Cowboys had on. Kid, you did a hell of a job last night. And your first NFL start, I, I can't do nothing but give you a hand, yo. I can't do nothing but give you a hand. Stand up and say, good damn job. All right? Positives as well. Ruben Randall. 
Ruben Randall, what a game, kid. What a game. You didn't score, but what a game. All right. The, we Giants fans, we got a real ball on our hands right there. And I'm not going to sit up here and jump the next season and say he's going to take the spot of Hakeem Nix because, you know, the two of them together is a hell of a lot better than one or the other. But Ruben Randall, you did a great job last night. All right. Eli, despite the decisions that you made earlier in the game, you played a hell of a game. Getting smacked all over the place, Cowboys in your face all damn day long. You're making pinpoint passes. I loved it. You did a great damn job and had, you know, one or two things happen differently. We're talking about a win, all right? We're going to come out next week, and hopefully we're going to be able to match up with Big Brother next week. Another positive. Yeah, I think I lost my train of thought, but uh, another positive or whatever is just the overall effort. The overall effort of the team. We sat up there and we handed the ball to the Cowboys six times. Six times. All right? You don't turn the ball over six times in the NFL and expect to win. But we turned the ball over six times last night and we almost scraped one out. All right? We cleaned that mess up and we start getting some stuff together you know, on our offensive line. And our, you know, hopefully we get some type of communication together with our secondary and our uh, linebackers. Hopefully we'll be all right. all right. And also, I expect to see Jonathan Dwyer sign sometime this week because our running back situation is a little suspect. And I say that with the utmost respect to Darrell Scott and David Wilson, both of which need to be kicked in the ass after this. All right. This is Tendo Hikari. Cowboys beat the Giants last night 36-31. Yes, I'm upset, but I can't do nothing but give the Cowboys credit for the way they played. All right. This is Tenno Hikari. I'm out.